What's up, man? It's your boy Carcino here. Been having a rough day. Putting together this entertainment center. I have no time to put up any videos today. I didn't have time to get a haircut. It's like 300 degrees in this room. And I've been doing this all day. Y'all want entertainment center, bro. So I just had to go out and buy another one. Well, you want to know where the money goes, that's where it goes. I should have paid somebody to put this together, man. I just have zero time and patience to continuously do this. But enough about me. I might as well tell y'all a true hip-hop story, you know, since, since y'all been patiently waiting for me to drop a video. Uh... A lot of y'all probably don't know this, but I'll go ahead and put it out there anyway. Uh, if I say e money bags, how many people know e money bag? East Coast only. <laughs> All right, so e money bags. Uh, rapping with Prodigy, you know, P from Mob D, and that's who he mostly clicked with is uh, P, and he's a known hustler, you know, from Harlem. You know, wants to rap. Mostly hanging out with uh, with Nas a little bit. You know, Esco knew him a lot. So, he was cool with Jungle and all them. But, he was hanging around Pete and Mob Deep a lot. And, He had all kind of problems coming towards him. Because when the Summer Jam thing kicked off, that's when uh, a lot of things start to happen. Meaning that uh, once he got just on Summer Jam, oh, sorry about that, fellas. P ran into a lot of problems with like Jay Z and. Various people from The Rock, you know. They went to the radio station, started dissing them beforehand, before the Summer Jam thing kicked off. And Mob Deep tried to go down there and they wouldn't let them come in the building because Jay made a call to flex. So they were going to go to the Source Awards. And that's when everybody was ready to collide and get it on that. And Jay Z didn't show up. But there's this guy they got, this other rapper, I guess he's from Brooklyn, named H Moneybags. <laughs> and they was like, do you know, dude? Like, who's this dude running around with your name? So E Moneybags is like, no, oh, man, I don't, I'm not with that corny. It's like, who, 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 who running around with my name? Like, are you serious? It's a dude calling himself after me? Ain't nobody like me. So and who calling themselves after me? So he's feeling a certain way, like really feeling a certain way about it, like disrespectfully. And he had Pete get in contact with Jay to find out, you know, and you know, how people in the industry, they can get the number, get somebody to get on the phone. And then they get on the phone with Jay, P and Jay talk. And Jay's just extra strong, you know. And this before a takeover drop. He's really extra strong. <laughs> you know, like the song dropped the Summer Jam thing, but uh, the actual Blueprint album didn't drop yet. It's about to drop. But Jay's like in full battle mode, you know, like whatever. You know, like what it's going to be, what it's going to be. Then E Money Bags got on the phone and was just totally disrespectful <laughs> to Jay. Hey, you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> you got a nigga clown ass nigga running around saying he me, H money bags. Man, who is it? What you trying to do, man? <laughs> I know you ain't trying to get tough. And Jay was just like, you really? This is what y'all want to talk about? This is what this phone call is about? Like, it's going to be what it's going to be. So, Jay didn't show up to the awards. Mob Deep showed up with like 30, 40 people deep. Uh, Benzino allowed it. 
And then he warned Jay that, hey, I got to let you know, P bringing like half of Queens down here to the uh, Source Awards. So Jay was like, oh, okay. And then he called like the day before and said, I ain't going to make it. Jay was supposed to perform that year. That's why his only performance at the Source Award has only been the uh, the one you saw when he opened up the Source Awards. Other than that, he ain't been down there. And he was just like, all right, I'm going to do it. And he was going to perform. And he just like, nah, man, I don't want to cause a scene that could, you know, interrupt the program and all that stuff. And it hurt the Source Awards. So I don't want to do that. So he just decided not to show up so it wouldn't be any drama, you know, between the crews because he was cool to conduct himself. But this H money bag guy is running around and now he's scared because threats is coming his way from E money E money bag. And they was like, dude, you ain't gotta worry about it. He was like, No, dude, his people's is like they coming over here. <laughs> so dude was gonna change his name. From H Money Bags. He had another name he was going by. I had never heard of this dude before until he said his name was H Money Bags. And right before that happened, uh, E Money Bags got killed. And then I think they just decided, oh, he was going to change the name anyway. And I think dude ended up changing his name uh, later on. But that's what happened. E Money Bags is after them big time and just some other stuff I don't even think this was related to the subject of H money bags at all because he's just a rapper whoever that H money bag guy is and E money bags was rap was a hobby <laughs> and he was trying to basically you know trying to get at them and unfortunately he lost his life he got shot up in uh, his car you know so they say he had a hand on his gun when he went you know like ready to blast but you know rest in peace to eat money bags his family and anybody from New York y'all probably already knew this story about the H money bag situation at E money bags people was chasing him and all kind of stuff man he was in fear for a while so anybody know who, what that guy changed his name to i have no idea but let me go back to fixing this and y'all can go back to whatever but i did hit y'all with a video so i'm out